Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I just made a video uh, on the, an attempt to overthrow the German government, yes, in Germany, by uh, a group of people, about uh, 50 or so. Uh, the German police raided about 120 locations, arrested about 20 some people, and they say, well, that the group is a group that doesn't recognize the government. They want to go back to that Germany. The other Germany doesn't recognize this, doesn't recognize that. The, there were some points made in that article. There are actually two articles I used. I used one a Russian article and the other one a, a, a Ukrainian article. Ukraine, written by uh, Ukrainska Pravda or whatever it was, the new voice of Ukraine. And the other one was Sput Sputnik. But you can find it in American uh, news media as well or the free world and you find the same uh, thing. The thing is over there in <clears throat> this uh, people that were arrested by the Polizei, by the German, um, <laughs> okay? It was one woman, woman in the Russian article, um, no gender in the Ukrainian article. Woman's name in the Russian article, man's name in um, Ukrainian article. I, it doesn't matter if it was a man, transgendered, homosexual, doesn't really matter. Fat, small, blue-eyed, doesn't matter. But it's interesting why. Because that person, they say, is a, of Russian origin. And his, her name is Vitalia or Vitali. As far as I know, Vitalia is a uh, woman's name, but... <clears throat> Don't I'm maybe people can say no, 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 but I know that Vitali is a man's name. It doesn't matter in the in the Russian um, article, they say it's a woman, Russian Vitalia B, uh, and the other one is Vitali B. They don't say it's a man, it's a Russian citizen or something. Now, obviously, you kind of know where this is going, right? This group tried to overthrow the government. They tried to storm the Bundes, Bundestag and uh, tried to, uh, with, they said something about the military. And that was very interesting because it, it seemed like they wanted to cooperate, do something with the military. But how can you do with military if the, you don't have any connections with the military? So uh, that's an assumption right here. I'm just uh, asking questions. It's just, uh, uh, were they uh, in contact with the German military? Was the German military involved in this? Uh, why did they use the military as, uh, you know... Um, Obviously, without the military, you can't do you can't do anything with anything. Why? Because obviously they got the guns and they get you out from wherever you are. So uh, that's one aspect. The other one, they try to draw Russia and these guys together. That means, oh, see, Russia tried to organize a coup d'état in uh, in uh, Germany. So therefore, it's a direct interference in blah 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 blah, blah and we we don't do that. That's going to be the United States with the biggest trap mouth and say, we don't do that. See, they try to overthrow bad dudes. Germany now, you got your, uh, you got your pipelines blown up by, um, I don't know. And now we point out they are the guys that are that, that, uh, trying to overthrow your government. What else? What other evidence you want? Just because one person is uh, of a certain kind of origin, it doesn't really prove anything. Because if you go like that, we can say, okay, then let's go and get, uh, let's say, Karl Marx and make him responsible for what? One estimated 120 million people victim of communism. Should we do that? And many, well, I mean, we can uh, uh, extrapolate, it, extrapolate it to other things. Like say, okay, everybody who has a PhD is a war criminal. Or it's a bad dude, why? Because uh, uh, Goebbels had a PhD? Or, and because uh, even Mussolini was a, uh, had a PhD, right? So what are we gonna do now? Oh, you, oh, every person with a physical handicap now is a war criminal? Why? Because supposedly Hitler had uh, this and this, this. And then we can have, uh, what's his name? Uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt, uh, uh, Franklin, what? Had polio and he was physically handicapped. And you say, wait, what's the connection? Well, he just got elected four times to the U.S. Uh, president. It was four times. And uh, that showed a little bit of a <coughs> kind of trend. And uh, if you remember, he was just uh, calling Joseph Stalin, the Georgian dictator of uh, Soviet Union, 
Uncle Joe. Aww. Okay, you want to keep going? We can go. I mean, we can call all the drunks being, uh, you know, criminals who plan to uh, drop certain kind of things on Dresden. And I'm talking about, I'm referring to um, uh, Churchill, right? I mean, there's no doubt he was a <coughs> hard liquor uh, consumer. Anyway, nothing wrong with that. But when you're a president, you have to be sane or at least have a clear head. So, but we have the, Rus the Russians say, you know what? We were not involved in all that coup over there. Okay, don't get us messed with those crazies. So the same, if you find a certain kind of person in a certain kind of location, it doesn't mean that that country is necessary where that guy is, uh, you know, um, because I'm pretty sure you can get some very politically incorrect individuals involved in very, very interesting hanky-panky stuff and you will not touch that subject because those individuals <clears throat> belong to certain kind of untouchable groups. So let's make it nothing here. But the Russians feel that they have to introduce themselves and say, oh, we have nothing to do with that. Okay, why do you say that? Because they already know what's next, what's coming. Or maybe, you know, uh, why would you draw attention towards you? Because you know that's going to be happening tomorrow, today, the next day is going to grow the whole. Yeah, we got evidence that uh, uh, Russia was. And if it was, by all means, bring it up and going to find it. And if they were, no, not good. But then remember, when you point your finger to Gigi, you know, doing a bad thing, uh, you have to point the f uh, finger to Lulu as well for doing the same thing. Regardless if Lulu is your uh, relative, your girlfriend, your wife, or whatever she might be or he might be. Gigi, on the other hand, being a nobody, you know, you can say, oh, Gigi, he did that, prison, done, Pfft, you know, electric chair, whatever it's gonna be, the punishment. But Lulu, nah, not Lulu. Lulu just was just playing around with the same crime. So Sputnik says today that Russia has nothing to do with coup, planning coup in Russia has nothing to do with group planning the coup in Germany, Kremlin says. The pre preparation of a coup in Germany is the country's internal problem. Even Berlin says that it cannot be any, quote unquote, Russian interference, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said on Wednesday. It's an internal problem of Germany and they themselves state that there can be no question of any Russian interference. We found out about it from media reports. We have nothing to say about it." And quote, Peskov told a briefing. Told a briefing. Well, that's what the Germans say now. Wait until the Americans say, what are you talking about, Germany? Come here. Yes, yeah. They want to talk to Germany immediately. And Germany is going to be like, Bang. actually, we found something, but we're not certain. And then from there, it's going to be like, you know, the mountain slope uh, model starts low. And then at the end, say, it was you, 100%. Okay. And if it was, bring the evidence. I'm afraid the evidence will be so clear as the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 uh, those uh, international terrorist attacks on the pipelines by uh, um, we can, uh, by Oswald. Yes, yes, I think it was Oswald again with Kennedy. <laughs> okay. So, it says, earlier in the day, the German Federal Prosecutor's Office said that several people were detained in Germany as part of a major operation against alleged right-wing extremists. Done. Also planned to set up a provisional military government and hold talks with a number of states. Military government. That tells me it's more than that. And remember, remember the, uh, what was that, the Reichstag fire? Uh, where the Nazis used to do whatever they want? Maybe they're going to say, well, uh, this was a right-wing thing. Uh, we're going to do this to all these guys, you know? Uh, <laughs> I think they're going to use this. This is the government at every point. I'm going to justify this as, let's say I'm driving a car, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, and I hit a deer. Bing, bing, boof. And then deer dies. And my car is damaged. Damn. Right? My car is more important than a deer. How bad Emil is. Anyway, just go to this. And I'm going to say, you know what? Let's exterminate all the deer in the world because look what they did to me. And let's say maybe I get injured. Maybe a member, a family member get injured because of the deer. We have to take care of all the deer. We're going to, right? Is that what we're going to do? Is that how the logic goes? When it's beneficial to our agenda, you sure bet your ass it goes that way. So, 
We'll find out it was not the Russians. We're going to find out tomorrow it was the Russians. But uh, the concerning thing is the military aspect of all that. Because that tells me these, were, these guys were not weasels. Playing in the bar. And then I don't think so. I don't think so. And uh, on, on top of that, they said that, um, they, in our article that I covered, supposedly these guys organized since uh, last year, November 2021. So in one year, you're able just to, okay, guys, let's do it. In one year, you get that point where you already have, I'm assuming, connections with the military. Now, I don't think they had some, uh, I don't know, military drivers, truck drivers or something, if they, they planned on uh, doing that. I think they had some connections with uh, some important people. We're going to find out. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.